Whoever said that motherhood and being a professional athlete cannot go hand in hand is wrong. Hi, my name is Gabriela. Welcome back to another episode of We Go To Girl Talk. And on this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the life and career of a very chingona mom and player, Damaris Godinez. Let's go. talk about motherhood and being a professional athlete or whatever the field it is that you are developing in but let alone being a professional athlete where you have to travel every two weeks when you are away from home a lot and you have to train five plus hours a day it can get a little bit tricky but we are very proud of having one of our chingonas being able to do both things brilliantly if you want to know a little bit more about Damaris Godinez's life please keep watching Damaris Michelle Godinez Garcia was born on the 22nd of July of 1999. She is currently 24 years old and she was born in Zapopan, Jalisco, Mexico. She's been a professional soccer player since Clausura of 2018 and she currently plays as a defensive wing in Chivas Femenil. Before getting into her professional career, we have to go back a couple of years, specifically to 2016 when Liga MX Femenil was about to be announced. Something changed in Damaris' life. Someone came to her life and changed her vision completely. Fue un momento muy muy complicado. Bueno, desde antes ya se ya se hablaba que que se iba a abrir una liga aquí en México y pues todas las niñas yo creo estábamos emocionadas porque fuera pues realidad. Yo la verdad no no pensé que fuera a ser tan pronto y Y bueno, cuando dan la noticia, yo en ese momento justo estaba esperando la llegada de, de mi niño Tiago. Um, creo que fue una noticia muy bonita para todas, para México también, pero a la vez algo muy difícil para mí. La verdad, yo había ya trabajado antes para poder jugar en una liga profesional y En ese momento como que se me vino todo abajo, dije no, no inventes, o sea, yo me había preparado muchísimo para esta oportunidad y yo no podía, o sea, por más que quisiera, yo no podía, estaba esperando a mi niño y, y pues bueno, fue, fue un momento difícil de, pues sí, de muchas dudas, de muchos pensamientos en mí, en, en pensar que, que una no podía jugar y otra... Iba a ser muy difícil a lo mejor que un equipo me quisiera por ser mamá. Yo eso es lo que, que antes pensaba y, y bueno, la verdad que siempre tuve el apoyo de mi familia, de mi esposo que él nunca me, me dejó de apoyar. Siempre me dijo, tú vas a estar ahí, tómalo con calma porque pues todavía me faltaban como, como dos meses para tener a, a mi niño y... Y bueno, traté de tomarlo así, con la mejor actitud, siendo positiva. Y, y sí, después de, de tener a mi niño, pues comencé a entrenar. La verdad me sentía súper mal porque pues duré nueve meses o más sin hacer nada. Entonces sí me sentía muy, muy pesada, muy lenta. Pero pues al final de cuentas siempre tuve a alguien que me apoyara y nunca, nunca me dejó caer y pues... Siempre seguí trabajando para, para poder hacer alguna visoría y que algún equipo me quisiera. In 2016, Damaris gave birth to beautiful baby Tiago. And even though her dream of becoming a professional soccer player had to be interrupted for a little bit, she had always the support of her family and her husband, and it was just a matter of time before her dream came true. After giving birth to her son, she took a little time to recover and she continued to pursue her dream. She made tryouts with Club León Femenil and she debuted on January the 7th of 2018 in Liga MX Femenil. After one year with Club León Femenil, she transferred for a short period of time to Puebla Femenil. Ultimately, her main goal was to return to Guadalajara, so even though she had an incredible tournament, the decision was made. She scored a total of three goals with Puebla Femenil in Clausura 2019. As a fun and interesting fact, what ultimately led her to make the decision to go to play with Puebla Femenil was because her little sister Alexandra was also playing for Puebla Femenil, so they went together. 
As we mentioned before, her main goal from the beginning was to return to Guadalajara because her son Tiago was here. She came back home, she did tryouts, and she signed for Chivas Femenil for Apertura 2019, and the rest is history. She has always been a very committed and competitive player. Her defensive game is very solid. And you can't definitely think of a defensive line of Chivas Femenil without thinking about Damaris Godinez. If we can recap her career, with Chivas Femenil till this day, it would be something like this. More than 146 games played, more than 11,000 minutes inside the field, more than 133 times being in the starting 11, and 9 goals scored. And let's not forget that she is also part of that exclusive club of players that have more than 100 games with Chivas. And last but certainly not least, she is already champion with Chivas Feminine, fulfilling her entire dream of becoming a professional soccer player. She's been a champion with Chivas Feminine not only one, but two times in Clausura 2022 and Campeón de Campeonas. On that note, let's take a look at three of Damari's most impressive goals with Chivas Feminine with the original commentary. Transforma en 10 cursos de desarrollo humano para mujeres indígenas. Clara GNP Seguros, Fundación Televisa. Y tú... Se acabó, lo va a ganar Chivas. Una salvajada lo de, lo de Gabriela Valenzuela. Es de donde nace la acción. Dejó tambaleando a su marca. Y le pone un bombón a Boy. Es impresionante el centro. El remate de Boy también ha sido muy bueno. Que es pie. impresionante la tajada, perdón. Es una tajadón. El, eh, no, la jugada completa es una, es, una, es una pintura. Luego, uno de los méritos principales de Damaris es defender hacia adelante. Ella siempre va corriendo hacia adelante a defender. No deja que la pelota salga del área. Va y toma eh, descuidada la, a la jugada de San Luis. La lateral del Guadalajara para hacer este primer tanto antes de llegar a los dos minutos. Le gana el brinco a Marta Cox. Pachuca sufrió bastante la última zona. Ha sufrido bastante la línea defensiva y lo aprovecha Damaris Godínez que ya le había hecho gol a Pachuca. Se lo hizo en la apertura 2022 en esta victoria en este estadio. As part of Chivas TV's exclusive content, we have the docu-series Resiliencia, where Damaris herself tells her story in her own words. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This comes very close to my heart because I myself am a mom and I cannot even begin to comprehend the responsibility and commitment of being a mother and being a professional athlete and being so committed and responsible as Damaris is. If you want to watch Chivas and Chivas Feminine home games, please watch through La Señal Más Rojiblanca de Chivas TV if you are in Mexico or anywhere else around the world. But if you are in the United States, please watch through Telemundo Deportes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our official YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this and every single Chivas content. I will see you next week, Chivas Hermanos, signing off.